Welcome. Today, I'm going to show you how to put a tubla head onto a shell. So I get emails from people from all over the world asking if I still put heads on shells. And I don't really much anymore. The problem is, is they've got a whole shelf full of uh, drums with broken heads or their old kind of thuddy heads. So rather than shipping your drum off and paying someone to put on a new head, which can be a bit pricey, you could learn to do it yourself. So let's get into it. What I have here is the shell. Now this bunch here came off, the heads broke, and uh, if the string is still there. And so what I did is I just loosened it enough around the shell here so I could slide it off. And so then there's just the shell. And I, what I want to do is keep this ring for the bottom because it's kind of, um, in this case, it's fairly custom fit to this bottom part here. And I will unstring all of this so it's one long piece because I want to reuse the strap. It's a good strap. And then I'll begin the process of putting on the heads. So the other things that I like to have, once you start putting the head on and you're starting to put the strap on one side, the head just wants to, you know, pop off or the bottom ring wants to pull off because there's nothing holding it. So I use a piece of strap in order to secure the other side until I get that far around, then I can remove it. So I've got my little piece of strap, got my head, it fits pretty snugly. I can feel the rim. I push down in the canard. I can feel the wood rim down there. You gotta watch out if you don't feel the wood rim and it's just not going, it's just kind of got doing this back and forth, then uh, you could run into it not really fitting. Some, some braids, will stretch and kind of form over the top of the shell. Some won't so easily. So it, you should be able to, with a little bit of pressure on both sides, feel the rim there. And if it's too big and you have too much play, right, if it's more than, I would say, a quarter inch of play, then, um, you could run into the head being off center slightly if you're not really careful. You can still do it with a head that's too big, but it's a, a more difficult. You gotta pay a lot more attention to the tension of the straps as you put the head on. Okay, uh, so got that. Got this. Got this hook. We're gonna need a hook of some kind, whether it's from me or whether you make it in your garage or whatever. Um, it'll save your hands. If all we did was put on tubble heads, then we could have kind of meat hands and uh, not worry about it. But if we want to play the tubla sometimes, then um, save your fingers with a hook there. The other thing that's really pretty critical is a nice pair of needle nose pliers. And for now, that's all we're going to need. So let's remove. The rest of this strap. Okay, once we've gotten about halfway from where the knots were originally, see I've taken out the knots in both directions there, but somewhere in this vicinity is halfway then I might as well take out the slack from the other direction because then I won't be pulling, you know, an extra 15 feet of strap <laughs> through these uh, holes here, so. Make sure this ring fits on the bottom. Yeah. It's 
So you can see there's a, we need some play in there because we have to fit the strap through six, um, 16 different spots there. But if uh, it was a lot bigger than that, for example, there's an older ring here. See, that's a lot of play. If you had something like that, you'd want to actually shorten this. So this ring here is, I'm sure it was made for this drum and it's pretty perfect there. Now the head, this is pretty nice fit as we talked about. So if I do this now, when I was a little younger, I think my YouTube videos show this where I was just uh, more like a monkey and I could just put my feet kind of on both sides of the top ring and bottom ring and hold it together while I do the strapping. But that was then, <laughs> this is now. And so I've come up with a nice method here, which is just a piece of, um, you know, kind of slightly broken in strap and I marked it there so that I could put it in with the knot going down through the bottom and basically it catches there right and then put it down and I'm gonna put it over the ring like this So it goes over and under. I just want to create enough tension to keep it in place. So I'm just going to put a regular knot right there. And there we go. Okay, so if I'm not careful, it'll come off the other way now. So I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to start stringing it from you know, give or take um, the other hat, the other side from that knot. Okay, now it doesn't totally matter because we're gonna end up going both directions from this point forward, whether you go under the braid here or over the braid. And I'm just gonna start going over Now, sometimes it slides in real easy. Sometimes you need those guys, okay? I like to use, I like to have them there and overuse them just to save my hands. Now this is important. So this has gone over the braid and it's coming out from underneath, right? So now I'm gonna go over the bottom ring that so I'm gonna go over and it's gonna come under so that theme going in this direction will continue the other direction once I get this strap halfway through along here then I'll go in both directions now this is really and I'll point it out again when we get to it but here's where I have made the mistake and many people do if they're not paying attention they'll continue that idea of going over and under and over and under and yet going the other direction we want the opposite so from here we would say okay it's going over now we have to go under so it makes a it kind of a weird spot once you start putting the pegs in because you, you don't have that alternating thing going on so all right, let's pull some of this through. Okay, so just get a you know reasonable arm's length at a time. Make sure it's 
sure the back knot is not slipping or anything. Now this is gonna go over the braid, right? You can see at this point, the value of this knot over here, because if I was having to move the drum around like this, it would just pop off. And it's hard enough working with this rawhide without the head popping off. Okay, so. Just about halfway. Apply one more string here and it would be exactly halfway. And this is still, I can still feel the canard under there. So we haven't pulled it too far off. Now, this should not be too tight. These straps here should be pretty loose. Okay, so that we can once we put the tension into this side, we have some play and we can kind of adjust everything. Now let's start, let's, before we take this knot out, just because we're not quite halfway over here, let's um, make sure it doesn't pop off suddenly. And we'll go the other direction with the strap. Now remember, this is that spot where you don't want to continue the over-under thing. You want to go under-over. And this is a, also a candidate for place you could twist the strap so you got to be really careful in tracing it and once we've traced it we think it's not twisted before we uh, get too far within the process let's check it so I, I put it under not over right I put it under Pull it through a little bit. Could even go all the way. And just at least stick it in the top hole here. Cool. All right. Now let's just make sure that this is not just so just track it back. Track it back, track it back, track it back, track it back, and yep. Good. So, go ahead and pull some through. take out the original placeholder strap thank you and um, now here's an example I got to go under this braid but the braids getting pretty tight against the shell so I'm gonna go in there with the needle nose pliers open and just hold on to that and use it like a pry bar and just pry up that bottom ring enough so that slips through, okay? Okay, that's looking pretty good. And, alrighty. So, now there's this, just a slight amount of uh, less canar here than there is over on this section, which has kind of been there most of the time. And the braid, as compared to the edge of the canar, the wood rim, is actually really nice right now. There's nothing sticking up more than another spot. 
So I suspect that the the canar uh, was actually cut slightly off center, um, which I can correct later. So I'm not going to worry about that too much. Uh, but for right now, let's say that I, I was that the the actual braid and the, and the siahi here were off center slightly. At this point, there's quite a bit of tension already in in the straps. So what I can do is I'll put in a, a few pegs just in the spot where it looks like we need to pull it over here that way. So I'll go ahead and put it under a strap or two. Okay, I'm not paying attention to permanent placement. I'm just putting tension in to one area of the head. And then I can hit it slightly. And that did it. All right. So now I'm going to do another pulling. And as I go around, I'll take out these pegs and grab that slack out of there. As with all things in the universe, stuff is going to change. So, um, you know, what we're going to do is put all the pegs in and then tighten it down, put it up probably on another strap and um, tighten it down. That's just going to slowly stretch the whole thing out. And I usually take two to three days and do it, you know, do this process, not this process, but the tightening process once a day and re-put the pegs in just because right in the beginning this braid and the strap slightly are going to stretch and the head will slowly loosen and then we tune it up tighten it down tighten it down put on another strap tighten it down then it'll keep stretching take the pegs out and do that process a couple times uh, so with a new head, and I also do that with a new drum when I get it from the maker, because those are also in the process of stretching. Alright, so before we put the pegs in, again, let's look at the bottom ring. It gets harder and harder to correct these, because the tension's higher. Yush! Alright, got our knots. Nice, neat knots there. And we don't have enough strap. If we did have enough strap, it would just, on one, one of these two knots, the, the excess would just go around one and a half times. Two times is definitely enough. And that's for putting, using the strap to put on a new head. Like in this case, it wasn't enough. If we had had that extra, it would have been enough. Or if you have a broken strap, uh, you're going to need a little excess as well for that. So um, at least one, twice, any more than twice is just kind of in the way, in my opinion. So uh, you can cut off your strap after it goes around twice. All right, let's put in the pegs. Now for the pegs, we're going to start at one of the two knots. And those knots will mark the beginning of the first set of four straps. Okay, so the knot and then there's a cluster of four straps. That's going to be a unit. Okay, and you'll notice that one comes from under, one comes from over, the center two. We're going to start with the one that comes from under, if we're going to just do a single strap. And even if we're going to end up on two, we want to start with that one. Okay, there's another set of four, another set of four, another set of four, and they're all going to be the same design like that. Okay, the other thing to look for before we start here is, is the tension of this set of four similar to this? In, in our case, it is, because I, I really tightened that knot down um, carefully. 
Sometimes this backpedaling of the, of the slack there will make this and this strap looser than the other straps. And that, once you start tuning your drum, you'll find this area is going to be lower than the other areas. It's going to be harder to tune it. So um, you either need to get that knot pull really well done or back pedal pull some of that slack back into the drum so it's distributed. So I'm just gonna go ahead at this stage I think it's safe. I'm gonna do two straps at a time. Okay. Now I'm not gonna do every set of four though I'm gonna do every other set of four. Part of the goal here is to get a lot of tension or a reasonable amount of tension in the drum to help the stretching process and the opening up of, of the head. Okay, We don't want it super high, we certainly don't want to challenge the head and make it break or something like that. But uh, I know that in just a little while I'll be taking these pegs out and re-pulling the slack one more time at least. So part of the job of the pegs now is just to help stretch the head. So there we have it, putting on a head. We have a centered head and the braid is even all the way around. So there's not parts sticking up or far down. And then we've got a good bottom ring around the drum. Got good tension all the way around and it's up on two straps, which is a good place to be. So, there it is. I hope that's helpful. It should be enough information to get you rolling. And of course, the more you do it, the better you get at it, and the less daunting of a task it is. Uh, in the video series, I've got episodes on uh, changing the canar size, cleaning the head, the string, pulling the slack out, and also changing the ring size on the bottom and more to come. So thanks for joining and see you next time. Thank you.